Hi, Tom. How are you today? Good, Robin. How are you? Good. Great to see you. See you. Uh, so tell me, with uh, it's no secret that real estate prices have plummeted and a lot of investors sadly have lost a lot of money. Um, what can people do today to take advantage of opportunities that they may not know exist? Well, my first advice would be not to sell if you're selling, if you've seen the depressed values, because as we all know, things that go down go back up. Right. And so if you don't have to sell and you don't need the liquidity, I would hold on to your asset. But one very smart strategy right now would be for somebody with a real estate asset inside a traditional uh, IRA or SEP IRA or even a solo 401k to roll that into a, a regular IRA first if you're in a solo K and then consider converting that to a Roth IRA. Because let's assume you had a $200,000 rental property in your regular IRA and it's gone down now because of the drop in the market to 100,000 in value. When you convert that, you're only gonna be paying tax on 100,000 as opposed to what it might have cost two years ago at 200,000, so you'd be paying lower taxes. Once it gets into the Roth IRA and it starts to recover, when you ultimately take it out of that Roth IRA, you will pay no further tax. Well, that's an excellent idea, and more people should be taking advantage of that. So uh, let's say that they are invested with their retirement funds in property, how would they go about doing that? Very simple. They basically just need to get an appraisal on the property because we report this to the IRS and it is a taxable event. You know the IRS, they want to get their tax. Oh, sure. So once they submit an appraisal and they fill out a single form on our website that's available on our website, send it in to us and we'll do the rest. Well, that sounds simple enough and smart enough. And uh, speaking about the Roth conversion, I know we talk on the webinars quite frequently about uh, the year 2010 and why that's important to be thinking now about doing a Roth conversion. Can you please uh, tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, we are. We're always talking about this because it's a one-time opportunity the IRS is giving us because, as you know, they're creating these big deficits and they need to get some funds, so they're encouraging people to take their traditional IRAs, and there's $4.6 trillion roughly floating around in IRAs. And they want people to convert it to a Roth and to do to encourage people, they're giving certain incentives. And the reason they want to convert is because they'll collect the tax income. But what will happen effective January 1st is they're going to first lift the income cap that now exists that permits these conversions. Because currently, if you make more than 100,000 adjusted gross, you can't even do a conversion to a Roth. Effective January 1st, that limit goes away. In addition to really incent you to do it, they're going to allow you to take the tax impact of that conversion at your ordinary income tax rate and spread that over the two subsequent years, 2011 and 12. So you don't even have to, you can defer it over basically three years uh, and spread that, that, that tax impact. So it's a really, really good one-time window of opportunity, especially for anybody that makes that kind of money. Absolutely, that reminds me of uh, in 1998, I believe that's when the Roth conversion, uh, they allowed the tax to be spread over four years. I actually did that and uh, checked with my CPA about that for a smart strategy. Sure. And I was fortunate to get in on that window and that's the same kind of window of opportunity exactly. you're talking about. That was the first year. It was like, you know, they're introducing a new model, the new car, the new IRA. It was the Roth IRA and they encouraged people to buy it. They said, we're going to give you a sweet deal. And they're doing this again to encourage more Roths. Well, listen up everybody that's watching because that's absolutely a smart strategy. And tune in to Pensco Trust. YouTube channel and you'll hear a lot more with Tom Anderson and uh, look forward to having you subscribe and to do that you would go to penscotrust.com actually you would go to youtube.com slash penscotrust and subscribe hit that yellow button subscribe and you'll get a lot more thanks for visiting see you soon